This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. 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 That's all I know of the song. That's all I know. It's from Hair, right? Or it's actually, I think it's from a band called Fifth Dimension, which had an album called Age of Aquarius, but I'm not sure if that's their song. I picked this whole song up from the the show, the show, the the Broadway show Hair. They definitely sang it in that. Forrest Gump, yeah. I know. Oh yeah, Forrest Gump. Yeah, but that's because it was like a '60s song, and you know they had a long, long, long soundtrack because, and they had to do like a, a triple CD set because there were so damn many songs that they did. Double CD, yeah. Double CD, not not quite triple. Uh, all right, cool. Well, uh, to tell you the truth, for the first time ever on the Educated Barvel, I cannot actually tell you where this drink comes from. It is called the Age of Aquarius. I believe it is from a bar in Montreal. Although I haven't really been able to kind of trace its origins, but it is a very good one. And I can't even remember where I got it from. Like I can't remember where the actual recipe came from. And then I was like, where did I find the recipe? And then I was like looking through all my notes to try and figure out where I found this recipe. It is a fantastic drink though. And I think you're all gonna really enjoy it. Um, if I have found out where it came from, you'll see that below. You'll see that reflected below. So look below, look in the show notes. If you guys aren't looking in the video description below each video, you guys are missing out. This is all sorts of interesting little tidbits I put in there. Sometimes there's uh, extended history that I just can't remember when I'm doing these sh shoots. Sometimes there's uh, references to uh, Marius and his life. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I hide little Easter eggs about Marius, like, uh, did you know, born on this date? <laughs> Stuff like that. All right, let's get into it before all my uh, bubble ice melts and then we have a mess of a cocktail. So discount codes and links. To yes, discount codes. Like, did you know that if you go to Staggerly Goods and buy a uh, an apron that like the aprons that I use on the thing, people do do that, but not that many people have been using the discount code for uh, some odd reason. Now I've always put it in the video description, but I haven't really articulated it very much in videos. So the discount code for Staggerly Goods is Barfly SLG twenty for 20% off. And then I also have a discount code for our Surfside Sips High Impact Glass Straws. Um, the, that is Barfly20 at checkout there and get you 20% off and stuff and things. And dude, read the video description. You should. All right, let's get into the drink. And then uh, don't interrupt me again, Marius. I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Okay. All right, deal? Deal, all right. All nice right, shot. so. <laughs> you mother you all right that was accidental <laughs> seriously <laughs> was that accidental maybe <laughs> you st stop doing that all right <laughs> three, <It's> good. <laughs> three quarters of an ounce of lime juice three quarters of an ounce of I was going to say pomegranate. That's not pomegranate. Does that look like pomegranate? It's passion fruit syrup. Quarter of an ounce of honey syrup. And then ounce and a half of mezcal. We're using Espadine Mezcal from uh, Lopez Real, which is a mezcal company that I have just found out about. And I love it. It's good stuff. All right, and then we're just gonna do a little scoshy poo of crushed or pebble. We're gonna get a little whip shake. Get that out of our way, center our glass. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then we're just gonna fill it, fill it up with pebble. And before we snow cap it, we're gonna do a half ounce float of Campari, which is gonna nice add a nice bitter element to this drink. We're just gonna like evenly distribute it. Now, let's see if we can get that nice ice cap that we want. I'm gonna have to sip this. Ooh, look at that, that looks so good. Ooh, let's taste it. Oh, it's nice and airy, I love it. Oh man, dude. The mezcal and the passion fruit is so good together. 
Mmm. You get the tartness from the lime. The passion fruit, the passion for, for, for the passion fruit is really balancing it out. Yeah, little tiny Scotia honey right on the back of your throat as you drink. It's really nice. Um, but the smoke from the mezcal and the passion fruit together is a flavor combination that I A, will never forget, and B, it's an amazing flavor that I actually haven't really tasted before, I don't think. I just want to kill this whole thing. Mm. I don't, I can't because it makes such a nice thumbnail that uh, um, that is just so gosh darn good, you guys. So there you have it. The Age of Aquarius from some bar in Montreal. Don't know where it came from, I think. I don't even know if it's from Montreal. It might not even be from Montreal. Somebody knows something about it, comment below. Um, I will do a deep dive and try and figure it out. If I did, then that's in the show notes. And if it isn't, then I didn't find anything. I don't even know where I was introduced to this cocktail because I can't find it in my notes. All right, that's all I got to say about that. I'll see you guys next time. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and definitely check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash the educated barfly. Um, check out the discount codes. Barfly, Je Barfly SLG20 for uh, Staggerly Goods uh, at checkout for 20% off. And then uh, Barfly20 at checkout for surf Surfside Sips. If you want some high impact glass straws that will not go up a turtle's nose or ruin the environment because you can wash them, they're reusable, they're high impact so they don't break, they come in all sorts of lovely colors and I really like them a lot. I really do. And that's a good thing. All right guys, I'll see you guys on another time.